Excellencies, Nana Akufado, President of the Republic of Ghana, and Erna Solberg, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Norway, co-chairs of the SDG Advocates Group, Audrey Ozole, Director General of UNESCO, distinguished delegates, good afternoon. I thank UNESCO and the co-chairs of the SDG Advocates Group for convening this important consultation. Our countries are in the midst of determining how to safely relaunch learning in the context of the COVID pandemic and mitigate the long-term effects on education outcomes. The priority actions outlined by UNESCO cover the key areas requiring our urgent attention. Ensuring the health and safety of learners is paramount. The stakes are very high for African countries where the youth population is growing. This means finding creative ways to not only protect education financing, but also increase it. In Rwanda, we are counting on close collaboration between national stakeholders, including clear communication with citizens to help us stay focused on achieving the sustainable development goals. International cooperation with UNESCO, the African Union, and other global partners is an important part of these efforts. I thank you for drawing attention to the critical issue of education as we play our part in building an education system for the future. Thank you.